Of course, UFC 303 this weekend. Is there any fights that you're looking forward to? No, nah, I mean, it's always a sad card, you know. I, I hope uh, Alex, I hope Alex brings his evil spirits. Man, crazy world, dude. CT is real and alive in this world, guys. It's all bad. What do you think of Yuri? Because obviously he thinks that Alex has that uh, the upper hand because of the spiritual rituals going into a fight. I mean, what do you make of that? I think he's a nut job, you guys. But that being said, Yuri actually did come and train with us, and he's a really solid guy. But you know, Alex is also a solid guy. So I just, you know, I want to watch a good fight and you know, make the best man win. You see a clear winner in that one. I lean, I lean to, I lean to. To Alex, he's just fundamentally correct, you know. Uh, Yuri, Yuri, he has a very specific kind of style, which doesn't work. It's going to come down to fundamentals, and Alex is way better fundamentals. It's a great replacement, a great replacement fight. Um, both I've, uh, I've actually um, uh, sparred with Yuri before, like ages ago. Um, awkward guy long big puncher um you know just fires from crazy angles um and then obviously we've seen the devastating power that Pereira has it's just it just makes for a great fight um considering the fight we lost was you know was so big it was i think ufc done an, an exceptional job putting something like this on in such a short space of time so yeah, um, I look forward to it. And I'm actually happy that I'm on the beginning of the card because last time I was still doing media and like trying to look at the screen to see, you know, the main event. So this time I, I get to finish the media stuff, sit down and actually enjoy the fight. Uh, what about the main event, Alex Pereira and Yuri Bahashka too? Uh, yeah, I'm excited for that one too. Uh, and I'm going to go with Alex Pereira, you know? Yeah. You think it looks similar to the first fight or you think it's going to look completely different this time around? The, the, the thing that makes me like question it and makes it exciting at the, at the same time is that Brian Ortega, Diego Lopez, uh, Pereira and Prochaska, it was a two weeks notice, you know, so I don't know who was training, who wasn't, so it's going to be, it's going to be a, a, a fun to watch. Yeah, definitely. I think Alex wins. Yeah. It's similar to the, to the first fight or completely different? I think he's going to throw him. And if he does, he's going to get his yellow belt in judo. <laughs> um, no, I think he's going to dominate. Yeah, I think that it's going to be an exciting fight, but he has a, the heart and mind of a warrior and a champion. And yeah, I think that the sky's the limit for that guy. Yeah. Thoughts on the main event between Yuri and Alex? You want me to break it down? The floor is yours. Right. So I think, I think we all understand how special Peloton is and the power he possesses. When you have that power, fights are just easy because you hit someone and they're out. I think Yori needs to go out there and he needs to kick. He needs to kick to the body and he needs to kick to the head because Peloton has this lower guard because he likes to faint and lunge in with that left hook and be aggressive with that right hand. If Yori kicks more to the hands and kicks more to the head, it means Peloton has to shut down. And that's the right style if you're Yuri Prohaska to have success. You need to put him in a box and make him open up. It's a lot harder said than done though, right? That's the, that's the way I would look at it if I was Yuri. Obviously, you could try to take him down, but I don't think that's how the fight's going to go. Peloton is one of the best kickboxers the world's ever seen. He has power for days, and he has technique. His calf kicks are unbelievable. His left hook is just dynamite. I really feel like he's, he's awkward for everyone because of that. And truly, I think he scares the shit out of people when he stands across him and he's just like that stone. I just think it's such a tough fight for everyone in the division that he's just he's going to win this one by a spectacular knockout. And I don't think anyone's going to be surprised by that. Bunch of fucking voodoo shit going on. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I'm bummed out. I wish it was Connor. Uh, I like Shiri. I like Alex. I think I think Alex is just becoming you know huge in the sport. Um, it's his presence. It's the way he carries himself. He's not um, he's not so socially open. You know what I mean? We'll walk by. Each other. I think we me and Alex have walked by each other like ten times. We never said hello. I say hello to his coach, but we don't say hello to each other. There's just like you know what I mean. That, that's a good that's a good way to carry yourself. I like that. So. Um, 
yeah, it's going to be a good uh, good main event. I was I pull, I picked Yuri Jiri to win the last one. Uh, I thought he was winning it, and then obviously he got he got finished. So Alex has got that kind of power too. And Alex broke the record that I beat, by the way. Um, and, but I want to hit it again. Hopefully with Alex there one day, because uh, when I hit it, I had a torn shoulder and I shouldn't have hit it. So, and I also had a big glove. Give me a little glove. <laughs> See the the main event going down. I, I feel like the same thing's gonna happen. I feel like um, a lot of times it either happens faster or it takes a longer time. But I feel like the same thing's gonna happen. Uh, Pade is just gonna look for his openings, pick him apart. Maybe Yuri gets a little too aggressive, too fast, and gets hit with a counter or something like that. But you never know because Yuri has that like that gift. You know, he, it's the dark room. He's like <laughs> he's punching through all his demons. Whenever he hits some, pe whenever he hits people, so you never know when he's going to connect and change the fight. Really, uh, what about the main event, Alex Pereira and uh, Yuri Pashka too? What do you think about that? Oh, I'm excited to watch it. It's kind of, you know, that's going to be one of those the coin toss. It's going to be who's going to get that victory. You know, um, anything can happen in that fight. <clears throat> I love to see Alex Pereira because um, the way he sets things up. You know, the last fight with uh, Jamal Hill. He set that left hook up with like five, six, seven jabs to the body. And you just, you know, he almost made uh, Jamal forget about his left hook and then he landed the left hook. So to see someone be able to do that, uh, it's really incredible. That's definitely a fight I'm looking forward to. But, you know, Alex Pereira and uh, Jury Prohaska, you know, they're gonna bring it. So that's just as exciting to me uh, stylistically. I mean, you know, you saw the first one, it was amazing. So uh, they're gonna put on a show for sure. Yeah, now I need to think about it, yeah? <laughs> That's also interesting. And uh, I think these two guys are always interesting fights. But I always need, I can't keep my, like, uh, some things I think I don't need to say, but I never watch none of their fights, like, all fights. I just saw their finishes. They are very impressive, very good. Now I need to watch their fights, maybe, and let's see. But I think this fight will be good because both are very different. One guy is unpredictable, uh, Prohaska. Other guy is like very good uh, striker, like very sharp. And this fight will be very interesting, especially after last fight. Jiri is the guy who, first of all, want to prove something, and he want to do this. And this fight will be very interesting. Oh, so uh, as soon as I heard the, the the change of the main event, I was I was kind of happy, you know. I, I like. Alex, I like his style. I, um, you know, I, I, I'm working with Brazilian coach in, in Florida, and they bring similar style, you know, striking style, you know, when we train. So I've kind of break it down a little bit of the, the Alex style, uh, the left hook, you know, just the, the way he stand. So yeah, I'm so happy. I think he's gonna stay the champ. Y la última pregunta de él. Pensamientos generales, ¿qué piensas que va a pasar en la pelea principal entre Poatán y Giri? Pues yo creo que Poatán pues consigue un knockout más. I think that uh, Poatán is going to get one more knockout. And the main event, how do you see that going down between Yuri Bahashka and Alex Pereira? Obviously rematch. I don't know how it's going to go down, but I am hopeful that Alex stays the champion and retains the belt um, so that he can instill the belief in him that we all have. Last one for me. Can I get your thoughts on the main event between Alex and Yuri? I'm actually super excited for this main event. Um, Yuri, I feel like, is someone who I've counted out on every fight that he's ever had, and he wins. So uh, I'm never counting out Yuri Prohaska, so I'm rooting for him. <laughs> I love the fight. Uh, I really wish it wasn't short notice, you know, as, as a fight fan. But um, uh, I, I love that fight. I think it's two warriors that have very different uh, approaches to the sport and that's that's what this sport is all about is it's about you know this style versus that style and and mentality and toughness and um who can make adjustments on the fly and that that's the beauty of it and so I, i'm looking forward to the fight pensamento geral sobre como vai ser poatan contra ele chama <laughs> chama knockout the main event is badass it's, it's almost like a, like Connor would have been awesome to to be, to be on the card and Michael Chandler, but I just feel like this card has been like shuffled and rearranged in such ways that I think it's going to be insane. Uh, the main event, um, 
I'm a really big fan of Jerry, of Jerry and then obviously uh, um, Alex. And I, I mean, I think that he's gonna he's gonna get a knockout again. It just, I mean, it's just he's just he's a specimen. 